Yeah, she's gonna sink. I mean, the crew of the ship must be thinking, why is it always us? Hello, welcome back to part six of our Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought Spain campaign. Um, following on from the, the last one, we managed to sink a task force of um, some of the Americans' cruisers, and we've got another battle here, which is our, at this point, famous Victoria, so battleship, and uh, against three of their armored cruisers. So we'll jump straight in. There's almost a, a thousand tons. They're all the same class, but there's a thousand ton difference here between the lead ship of the Frederick class and the uh, Norfolk, the Salem and the Norfolk. So be interesting to see what the difference is there on the ships themselves. But we'll head straight into the battle and hopefully do what we did last time and um, don't we, we've actually got the same ships to the same task force of ours uh, this time just without the torpedo boats we'll form them up into a single line and smoke is spotted again too well to the south east so almost dead ahead but we'll head over in that direction speed battle up until we can spot their ships I think these are a different class to the armor cruisers we saw in the last episode, in that last battle. Uh, I might be wrong, I can't remember exactly what class they were, but if they are the same, they have got a couple of um, 9 point something inch guns on the, the rear in a turret. So try and stay clear of those if we can. But we did manage to take out four cruisers last time when we were uh, out, uh, outnumbered in, in main ships, so we'll see what we can do this time. To the south this time, so... Okay, we've been spotted. And there's the enemy ships. So we'll head, they are heading slightly in this direction, so we will head into much that. And let's see what their ships look like. Oh, okay, so it's the same design again. So um, it was Frederick class ships last time. They've got these two nine point something inch guns on the back of the turret. And we're up against three. Here's the second one. And there is an event. So there, there was a thousand turn difference. So almost a quarter of the tonnage in uh, the weight between the lead and the the rear ship. So it'd be interesting to do, know what is different on on that, whether it's been refitted. And I'm actually going to open fire at maximum range. Uh, with our main guns, we're unlikely to hit, but I would like to start getting some shots in against them. So I presume, presume that's the Salem and this is the Norfolk. I'm not sure, maybe a difference in armor quality due to some research or something that happened. Okay, so. We've opened fire against them. Let's speed up until we've closed range a little bit. We're unlikely to hit much from this distance. But we've already taken a hit. Let's just make sure we're focusing fire on one, one ship. Oh, that's the Norfolk. Okay, let's try and match their course now. Get our broadside into action. Okay. Slow time down sort of slightly. And I don't want to split fire at the moment. I'd like to just focus on a sh each ship in line. So we've got the Norfolk, which is um it's actually three and a half thousand tons, just about. The Salem 
and the bridge bot. All of the same class. They are opening range slightly, so we'll turn them to match their heading. So far we've taken um, a few 5 inch shells and a 4 inch, but no major damage. And uh, taking another 5 inch, we haven't hit anyone yet, so... <laughs> Hopefully that will change. Uh, we've actually increased our trading level on these, possibly on both ships now. No, it's still cadets on the Bonaventura. But we're now uh, regular on the Victoriosa. Doesn't really improve our hit chance at this point, but let's try and close range slightly. We are still leading their lead ship, so I don't believe their main turrets can target our battleship at the moment. They are going after just the Brenaventura. So we'll try and close in and hopefully get some hits in on their um, the Norfolk. Speed the battle up. Got a casemate destroyed there on armored cruiser. Yeah, our shots are still falling short. So let's close in on the range. As we still haven't hit anyone or anything. And again, falling short. Again, our, our ships at the moment, look at all these construction floors. They are pretty bad, but it is the 1890s, so... As the technology improves, we'll get some better ships. Oh dear, what's happened there? So we took a main belt penetration from a 5.1 inch shell. It's caused some flooding. And we've got engine damage as well, which is not great. Another one. Okay, so the Brunner Ventura might be in trouble now. Let's uh, detach it from the division and we'll try and just increase the range get her out of trouble she can only make about five knots at the moment hopefully we can draw some other fire with the battleship but not looking good for the Brenaventura at the moment I have primarily focused fire on her but and um, yeah, the flooding looks like the flooding is out of control now, so she's probably going to go down. And in fact, we are out of ammo entirely on our three-inch guns, so I don't know what happened there. Did we have a ammunition explosion? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're out of ammo there, but hopefully we can. We might just be able to get that flooding under control, but it's unlikely. And their armored cruiser is turning in towards us, so I don't know if they're coming in to try and get some torpedoes away, but yeah, she's going to sink. There she goes. 
so not a good start but if they come close enough hopefully we can get some good hits in against them got them over 5.6 there. We just don't have enough guns really on these battleships. We haven't really got that hail of fire going on from our broadside. And um, looks like we might miss again. Oh no! Ah, okay great. Scored a hit. We overpenned though. But they've got quite a lot of flooding going on. Got another hit, but it was a ricochet, so. Looks like three of their compartments below the waterline, possibly a four. Don't think they'll go down from that, but again, engine damage as well. We can. Let's try and uh, cross the T, <laughs> sort of. Looks like it's listing quite badly. And it's lost almost all proportion by the looks of it. So it's dead in the water. We can hopefully score a few more hits. Mm, looks like we're going to miss. Yeah, they've got their flooding under control, so that's not going to sink it, but. But if we can do that again, it might just be a goner. Let's repair. Did they have two engine damage? It's moving a bit faster now. Gonna just slow down slightly as well. Okay, there's our shots coming in. And, ah, okay. So we did get a hit, but not much damage there. Okay, I'm actually going to shift main guns to the Salem now. Just because the Norfolk's probably going to fall behind and um, if we can damage the Salem as much as we did the Norfolk, we might be another chance. I mean, normally I'd say we we take this quite easily, but the yeah, I mean our main belt is okay. I guess if we can if we can stay ahead of them because they have only got that main armor on the rear, we should be fairly safe. Okay, another good shot there. I uh, know we have a pen there, but we did score some more flooding. And we've got a funnel out of action as well. Okay, so the firing arc actually isn't too bad on their rear turrets. I don't think these two, the Bridgeport and the Salem, can hit us, but the, the Norfolk just got a couple of shots away there with their main arm. But they're still taking hits from our 6 inch. Got some flooding in the rear compartment there. Okay, let's see if we can get them with our main battery. I mean, the crew of the ship must be thinking, why is it always us? Just missed. Okay, let's speed up the battle. Okay, 
Okay, we'll focus entirely on the Salem now. Damage to our funnel there. But Norfolk's hitting us in the rear quite badly. Salem's coming in. Ooh, quite a... So two overpens there with... Well, one ten and one six inch. Again, they score quite bad flooding. We're out of the torpedo range. Which is good. So we are taking damage, but not that effective. Um, ah, yes, got another one on them. So they're having to come in close, and uh, that leaves them open to our main guns. Uh, looks like the Salem might go down. Um, I'm actually going to turn back around just to match the heading because the Bridgeport will take the lead in there. Squadron now. Yeah, the Salem's going down. She's listing over. Okay, so switch our focus to the Bridgeport. In fact, is it going to ram? Ended up hitting their own ship. God, turning so bad. Let's just reduce speed slightly. Luckily, the firing arc on our main guns is fairly decent. We took a 4.5. Okay, so again, caused some heavy flooding there. So when they come in close, our, our main guns are quite effective on these. They just don't have the the range or the range accuracy range, but happy enough with their performance from close range again. A couple of two hits there. And they can't get us because now They're so slow in the water so they can't even get their main battery out to us anyway. A lot of damage there, so I think the bridge port should go down. Again, I'll just. As long as we can just keep out of torpedo range with them. Even though they're going to go down. Still want to avoid getting hit by a torp. Okay. Definitely should go down now. In fact, the Norfolk's nearly there as well. We just got another penetration there, so. So we lost the Bonaventura, but again, that's one of the original AI, uh, AI auto designed ones. Not too fussed about that. Oh, they're both clinging on. Let's just try and finish off the Norfolk. In fact, no, let's try and finish off the Bridgeport since it's almost out. Uh, yes, yeah, so we lost our own armor cruiser, but not a great loss. It's not worth that that many victory points. Okay, so another hit on the bridge port. Yeah, flooding it is getting worse, five percent. Looks like they've held it at five percent. Yeah, it's all, all forward. Mine it might might go down two percent. Yeah, they've got flooding in the rear compartments now as well, so we'll switch to the Norfolk. Try and finish it off. And Bridgeport is hanging on, they've got the flooding under control again. We took a pen. Come on. Two or just one ten inch hit there. Okay, so the Norfolk's gone. Let's Let's loop back around, but we'll come in this way for the bridge port. Oh, turning circle on this battleship. 
it's on three it's on five times speed and that is the uh that's the turning rate on this. <laughs> Even at eleven knots. So we're almost out actually of the um armor piercing ammo. It shouldn't matter at this point, but Bridge point. I mean, they've done their subs proud. Why won't they go down? Missed again. That will slow all the way down pretty much now. They're almost dead in the water. Just to help our guns. I feel like at this point I should let the bridge port sail away. Lent back to port, but there we go, that should be it now. That's it. Okay, so three to one on casualties. Again we'll take that. Another almost ten thousand victory points. They got two for the Bonaventura, but that's fine. And again, I can't remember how much Panama is worth, victory point and money wise. But if they ask us for peace this time, we'll 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 do it. Given that we we might be having uh, an attack from the Italians and our main fleet is over in the Caribbean. We do have the new battleships that we built which have um, finished the Madrid class so they're at Cadiz and um, they're just set to win being at the moment so we do have something back in in home waters that we could use. They are better but still not fantastic um, compared to our existing battleships, but the Italians don't have any battleships still, so um, just a lot of cruisers. So if we do end up in a war with them, in fact, we will use our action this turn. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's increase ten tensions with them. Yeah, if, if anyone's not seen an episode before, basically just to make things harder. I mean, Spain's harder enough as it is, but just to make things harder. Um, I will be kind of using a house rule where I have to increase tensions with uh, at least one nation every turn if I haven't used my political action for something else, just so we end up almost constantly at war. And um, just reducing our crew training slightly there just to get us back into surplus. And we'll move on to next turn and see if the Americans ask us for peace. If not, we might be able to, to catch that other fleet out in in the Gulf of Mexico. So the war continues and we have some press stories in various countries supporting our efforts. So in, in Germany and Austro-Hungary, Austro-Hungary rather, and uh, the Austro-Hungarians really like us. Okay, so Reno Regente again. So I think in the whole war I've been coding about four or five of our ships have actually seen any action despite most of our fleet being over there but um, I'm just going to auto resolve it. Well, we can withdraw but I think if we auto resolve they are pretty lightly armed uh, light cruisers so we'll auto resolve and uh, well we can lost that one medium damage but not many victory points lost. Sudan's conquered by the Italians yeah, towns of wow. Okay, so we we tried to annoy them, but they've actually strengthened relations with us, and then we've gone and absolutely reversed that. Russia gains control of Belarus. Okay, I would like to try and catch this fleet, but it's just not happening. We're not getting any um, 
convoy or, or transports coming out of Pensacola. So, uh, yeah, maybe let's ask them for peace, shall we? And see what we can get from them. Whether they'll accept that or not, I do not know. Either way, I think we will... I want to build some more torpedo boats. And uh, they, they rejected it anyway. But they are not um, not coming out of port. Um, so our intervention had no effect. But we gained some prestige for some reason. But okay. Okay, I'm going to just for the last time hopefully bring this fleet down to uh, Colon and see if we have enough tonnage there for with the four battleships and armoured cruisers just see if we have enough tonnage to start a naval invasion with them politics wise we are going to or we'll try and offend the Italians again even though they seem to like us trying to offend them and then research wise nothing coming really soon and I'm just gonna see if we can improve our because I want to build some more torpedo boats so we'll see if we can uh, imp just improve them slightly over new design maybe increase their speed and we've got those higher quality two inch guns we can put on them okay so we will go for we've only got one torpedo boat hole, same hole. Um, go on the max displacement displacement that we can. Bar Barcello, Barcello. Um, let's name it after a small island, maybe. Uh, let's go for well. Let's go for the uh, Canary class after the Canary Islands. Uh, speed, what's the optimum for this hull? 28.5, let's see if we can get up to 28.5 Quarters, I'll leave that as it is uh, We haven't got any improvements still to our engine components uh, What's the difference in these two? Torpedo spotting is better with this one doesn't even get us anywhere near 100% on our engine efficiency. <laughs> Might have to put three standard ones on, that gets us almost there. That would be fine I think. Uh, we don't need a secondary tower. Main guns, we've got Mark II 2 inch. I'm not really bothered about the guns on them at this point. We could maybe put a four inch there but that takes hmm let's put our torpedo tubes on first so we can still only get the singles we're gonna put one on deck right at the rear and then I mean we could potentially fit three on here but I'll probably leave it until we get some multiple tube launchers and uh, that actually makes our aft offset uh, weight offset quite bad so well, let's put it on and then we'll see if we can tweak it with the, the turret so let's, let's put the 4 inch on I think our existing one has um, just 2 inch so let's put the 4 inch on and then a couple of those improved 2 inch ones and we've still got an aft weight offset there so let's bring this in that's better. Arc wise, that can fire well forward. And that will do, I think. So, I mean, compared to our current ones, not a huge improvement. Obviously, their sort of characteristics in the water are still poor. They are better armed, not torpedo wise, but in gun wise. They are slightly cheaper, but they are faster. 
and have more guns. Oh no, sorry, they've got five two inch guns. So we've got a heavier four inch gun. And they're still in underweight. So what can we do? We'll keep the Oh we can we can improve uh, up to the sixteen inch torpedo. Can we increase the amount? No. And we can't put any armor on the sort of on the ship itself. Um that's fine. We're, we're slightly under by three tons. So I don't think we can add anything else on. But yeah, happy with that. We're, we're kind of more... What I really wanted is the, the speed. These ones can only make um, 25.5. So we've, we've gained three knots there. So we'll save that design. Uh, Finance-wise, I don't want to drop my tech budget too much. So we'll see how many we can build. They are quite cheap, so we'll maybe build th just three of them for now and then add another three in a, in a couple of months and, and build them gradually like that in, in smaller batches. I guess we'll just place order at like one shipyard at a time. So yeah, so they're cheaper, faster, got a heavier gun and uh, bigger tonnage. So yeah, happy with that. So what's our, what's our surplus at the minute? Uh, one million. So we will build three of them, like we say. Uh, we're going to get four out, but we'll, we'll build three for now. And they will take six months. And we'll let the uh, AI distribute them. Uh, Politics-wise, uh, we've already taken our action. So let's move on to the next turn. See if we can get our ships down to Panama. Yeah, and I don't think we've got enough tonnage to navally invade them, so we will um, go for peace if they ask for it again. Since we succeeded against the Italians. Uh, in terms of the rest of our economy, economy is still growing, we're up to 17 billion on the GDP. So we're about even with Japan and not beating anyone else but the well, so the US and the Italians aren't that far ahead but their economy is growing a lot faster than ours and when you look at army logistics well, I suppose the US is quite low actually not doing too bad on that let's just do our political action I'm just going to ask the US for peace again Probably about time. Our monthly balance is up to a million plus, even though we're building those ships. I think some repairs must have finished, so I'm gonna up the tech budget again, just keep it slightly. There we go, $920 in the positive. Um, we can improve our cruisers in three months' time, build some bigger armored cruisers. Oh, we've got a task force mission. Oh, okay, so we've we've signed peace, finally. And we get some prestige. We're almost back in the positive on the prestige, and our unrest has gone down. Uh, so we can't take Panama. Looks like we're a long way off um, getting that. We would have had to sink probably... I don't know where the rest of their battleships were, but we would have probably had to sink the rest of their battleships and, and some of their armoured cruisers as well. Um, what we could do... Is I mean, there's no point in us taking southern Alaska. It's kind of way away from any of our other possessions, and we would struggle to keep hold of it if we we had a, a land war. Um, we could though see about taking one of their battleships just to weaken them slightly, but their battleships are not particularly great. I mean, I think we sank two even with our current ones, so I think we might just take the cash and maybe we'll get a a light cruiser or something as compensation or some other torpedo boats. I would like to have um, some more torpedo boats spread around actually, so let's do that. 
uh, we'll take four of their torpedo boats. And then the rest I would like just more like the cash really. We were at war for nearly two years and we got a major victory. Um, again, I wish you could kind of see what Southern Alaska was worth income wise, but I'm going to take the cash. They probably wouldn't give us it anyway. Okay, there we go. So we have uh, annoyed everyone else in the press by signing a peace treaty, it looks like. But that's fine. And there we go. So that's our, our first war over. We'll get our ships back into port. We'll just put them all in Havana for now and then we'll move some of them back across the Atlantic. And um, the next war, it looks like, might be it against the Italians sooner rather than later. So in the meantime, because we have uh, now got our big surplus of cash sitting on hand, um, we will lose our sort of war bonus. So we'll put all of our ships back into a um, limited status. Some of them are obviously at sea at the moment, so we can't do that, but just the ones already in port will pack into limited. And it gets us down to minus 21, and then when those ships are back in port, uh, I'll increase the tech budget, but we'll leave that for next time. So successfully won our first war there against the Americans. We'll move on through the rest of the 1890s and try and... Uh, next priority, I suppose, is knocking up that research, trying to improve our cruisers, trying to get to the point where we can build proper destroyers and um, just gradually improve our battleships as well. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.